Hello, good evening. It's Elizabeth Hefner, Senior Ruby Ambassador, popping in here um, for just a special call with my team and my strong leaders and my other leaders that are popping on. I shouldn't say strong leaders and other leaders, but all of you are strong leaders. And we really wanted to have a very special call of just informing you of some of the amazingness that's happening. Um, Jackie Hastings, Lauren Smithson have some stuff to share as well about just where we can go with this opportunity. So I'm super excited. So overall, like over the last year, especially Plexus has just been in this amazing momentum forward. They are researching like crazy. They're asking us um, what other products we would like to see. Like what are people asking for? They are maintaining quality. They are just insane working behind the scenes. And then we have all this amazing momentum like across the board with Plexus, but especially Pink Power, especially Found Black's Diamond line, and that's where we fall, has been just non-stop. Like Fallon is just so excited right now. Um, there was a special call last week and she is just like, oh my gosh, you guys, like, this is amazing. I, this is how it was in 2014. So Lori Welch is Fallon's upline and she is just like, ride the wave, like go, 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 you know? So in 2014 was when Fallon was moving up the ranks, hitting the jewel status and just moving right up to diamond. And that is what they're seeing again. And so this is huge and amazing for us. This is an amazing opportunity for us to jump onto that wave, jump onto that momentum and just keep rolling with it. And it is so exciting to see. So um, I am just really excited that we have amazing leaders. We have Fallon Black, we have Rochelle Osborne, we have the, the like Rochelle sidelines, Cody Helmner and Brittany Howard and Tiffany Wilson, like all of these amazing leaders, these amazing Christian women. Um, if you have, aren't following their Facebook, like follow their Facebook, just follow them because they are just amazing women, you know, even without Plexus, like we would want to be like them, you know? And so it's just this incredible opportunity that God has really given to us. And like, I want you to feel that momentum from March. So March was in Incredible. Like my coach had emailed like, Hey, you know, this was an amazing month. There were records broken, but I can't say anything more because I think Alec and Tarl are going to want to do these announcements. So there was something like that we aren't even aware of that happened in March, which is just huge. And then we really want to just continue, like continue that. And so that's why our team decided, okay, we're going to do this stacking sale. So if you're not sure of the stacking sale yet, get with your, your sponsor the stacking sale to really encourage continued growth. Um, and you know what, we are so blessed. Like we're so blessed with this compensation plan. We are so blessed with what we're gaining financially that there's no reason why we cannot help others get started with that little stacking sale too. You know, like pass that blessing on and that comes from Plexus on down too. Alec and Tarl, if you're blessed, be a blessing. If you're blessed, be a blessing. And that is huge. Like I am so excited. And I was just talking to Rebecca last night, like, what are we going to do with this extra financial blessing? Like, where is it going to go? You know, what area do I want to like contribute in that way? In that huge way? Like, of course, God is going to use every single penny that we give to, to tour in his name towards a cause, but to be able to like slap like $5,000 down or something is incredible, you know? And so anyway, this month we have all this momentum for March. We got to just keep going, keep going, keep going. So Yes, Plexus is a business that us busy moms and people that are working and just managing houses and homeschooling, whatever it is, like, yes, you can fit that into your nooks and crannies. You can work that in, you know, 20 minutes here, 15 minutes there, whatever. But this month is not the month to fit it into your nooks and crannies. This is the month where you're going to like make aside time, have a plan. If you need help coming up with your plan, get with your sponsor, get with your upline, get on the phone. Like I was like afraid to schedule any phone calls or anything in these evenings. Cause I'm like, I got to talk to my people, you know, <laughs> like keep the phone free. My kids, 
get outside now, like either get outside or go take a shower. Like those are your options. I am on the phone. Do not talk to me while I'm on the phone. Like they have instructions. So my kids have instructions this month. My kids are like, mama, will you read to me? I'm like, yes, I will. And then we're, you know, then we're moving on. Like we will watch seventh heaven in May. We're not watching seventh heaven. Mama's not watching seventh heaven this month, you know, and it's so okay. Okay. Like our kids need to see us working. They need to see us working towards this cause. And you know what? They don't say anything if we're full laundry and doing dishes. Your kids are like, ah, oh, mom's doing her thing. So Plexus should be no different that you can show them like, look, this is the person I'm helping. She has horrible headaches and I'm going to help her get better. God is going to use me and these products and we're going to help her feel better so she can go to the park with her kids. Like that is what this is about. And so teaching your kids that work looks differently to in different ways is okay too. So talk to your husband, talk to your moms, talk to your housekeeper, hire a housekeeper, whatever it is that you need to do at whatever level you're at, like just do it. It's a month, just go. So I really want you to hear from Jackie and Lauren and hear where they have come in one year, one year where they have come. And whatever we set in place now is going to propel you forward for that. So really quick, Jackie, I want you to tell us, I'm going to unmute you. Um, I'm going to try to unmute you. <laughs> um, unmute you. Yeah, I want you to tell us like, where you've come in a month or in a year, where you've come from and just how exciting that has been for you. So it was funny the other day on my time hop, it popped up, you know, a memory from a year ago and it was hitting silver. So, um, in a year I've gone from silver to Ruby to it's pretty amazing. And so, um, what's the difference? Uh, the difference was participating in a lot more different things. I started being more intentional, int that's not even a word, um, intentional with my time. And um, really putting the time and effort into doing IPA, participating in team calls, book calls, um, not ignoring you when you told me I need to do phone calls with my uplines. Um, because your uplines, they're, they're there to help you. They want to help you grow. They want to help you um, because they have the experience. They have the extra knowledge that we all need to grow. And by listening to that and pouring that into our people, we can help other people too. And you know, uh, like you were saying, it's, it's not that hard. It's a little bit of time here and there. Sometimes it's a little bit more, um, but you can totally fit it in with, with your life. I mean, we made 36 cupcakes tonight. That's why I'm looking a little cupcakey. Um, but it's things that we can all do. And then to be able to go, Oh my goodness, I have extra money this month to be able to, um, Pay off when I hit a deer. Yay. Or, you know, then we go um, and look at one of the testimonies from somebody who's new on the products where she's not having to give her son Miralax anymore. I mean, her son is no longer having to take these horrible products. You go, you know what? I just changed somebody's life. And so um, I know people get disappointed by no's here and there. Um, and the more you're reaching out, the more no's you're going to get. I mean, it's just a fact of life. But talking to your upline and letting them reassure you. It's okay. I get a lot of no's too, but for every no you get, that's a seed you've planted in somebody. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those no's will come back later and they'll go, you know what? I saw this post you did and it made me think, and they jump on board. You know, I have people from two years ago when I started this and started posting about it that said, you know, I saw you posting about this a long time ago, but I see that you stuck with it and I want, I want to know more about this because I'm having stomach issues or I'm having headaches or I can't keep my weight down or I have no energy to, to manage with my kids. So um, that's some of the things that really get me excited. And my kids, it, they're into this too. They're, they know the voices of the people that I talk to all the time. And they're like, oh, that's Elizabeth, or that's Rochelle, or that's Lauren. How are they doing? Where are they at? Mom, when are we going to Hawaii? Mom, you earn a trip. You're going to Vegas with Dad this summer. That is so cool. So our kids see us working hard, and they see us helping others, but they see us getting some rewards too. So 
Um, I'm really excited. And then I have people on my team. Lauren is on my team. In fact, she's even a senior Ruby. She's ahead of me. That's one of the really cool things about Plexus is people under you can actually rank up above you. And it's pretty cool. We all support each other. We all help each other. And um, that's another thing that's pretty cool. So um, Elizabeth, you're in charge of unmuting people, but um, I think Lauren's on next. Yeah. Lauren. Or, or if there's anything you can think of that I forgot to mention. We'll circle back at the end. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Maybe. Hi, everybody. Maybe. So I'm going to try to follow that, but Jackie's always so good with words. So I'm going to see what I can add to it, if anything. Um, a year ago, similar to Jackie, I think I was silver. Maybe had hit super silver. I really don't quite remember the timeline of everything. But at this time last year, I would remember being super wishy washy. I was like, am I in? Am I out? Do I want to do this? Is this something that I want to commit my time and energy to? Or is this just like something on the side? And I really just was not sure. So I was just kind of up and down, just riding the waves. And um, I remember Jackie asked me at the end of the convention contest, kind of where we are now, but more toward the end of April, she was like, where are you for your convention points? And I was like, I don't know. What is that? And I like took a screenshot. I didn't have a lot of points because I wasn't really working toward any kind of goal. And it was just like, went way over my head and I just kept going on with my life. And then convention happened and I was like, why did I not go to that? That looks amazing. And I had terrible FOMO and I was like, shoot, I really should have prioritized that. And by that time in my business, I was really prioritizing the business too. And I was like, shoot, that would have been a really great a really great time and I re really would have learned a lot so I regretted not going to that so that's something I want to tell you all now if you're if you have any inkling at all that you might be interested in doing the business side of things I really encourage you even if it's a financial stretch for you right now in your business to make that a priority because um, you're going to learn a lot there. You're going to see a lot of people. You're going to build your belief. You'll get to meet these jewels, these diamonds, these people that have a lot of influence on you, like in your online community and all of that and on our team. Um, and it's just going to build your own belief and therefore build your business as well. Even I remember we watched a video um, a couple of months ago from Fallon about how she went her first year, I think as a gold and could not afford it and went to the grocery store and made peanut butter and jellies and ate hot dogs or something for the whole week. And just that's where she spent her money um, just on cheap food so that she could be there to learn and soak in all the good stuff. So I, this is going to be my first convention this year and I wish I would have gone last year, but to go from, like I said, I was either silver or super silver this time last year. And then I finally started taking this seriously and treating it as a business rather than a hobby. And this, month i'm even afraid to say this out loud but i'm really aiming to rank up to emerald this month which is crazy you guys to go that far in one year um blows my mind and i'm excited about it but it's just crazy 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 so if you have any inkling at all to go to convention do that make it a priority treat this as a business don't treat it as just a hobby Put the time and effort in, follow up with your people, make sure that they feel cared about um, because you do care about them, hopefully. And then that way they'll get better results on their products. And you'll hear those really great testimonies about life-changing stuff if you follow up with them and make that a priority. Um, so yeah, I think that's my main, my main thing for you is just treat this seriously and take it seriously and go to all of the events that you can because that's when you're gonna build your belief and get this really great community of people around you too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, like so exciting, you guys. This is huge. Like Jackie and Lauren have just skyrocketed over the last year because what changed? Mind, their mindset changed. Like I'm gonna do this. And it's just so huge to be able to see that and you are going to see that in in your people you're going to see that in the people that you are sharing this business opportunity with you are going to continue to see them and have see them have that light bulb moment and go oh my gosh i cannot help but jump on this train you know 
And so we, uh, your leaders might be really like, hey, why is this person subscription order off? You know, like, hey, what happened here? Well, they're a partial PB or like we might be really pushing a little bit more this month because there's huge potential for rank ups, huge end of convention contest. And when we are helping you stay on track of those things, it's helping them be successful, like, Aaron, like Lauren just said, helping them be successful so that they have that success story so it can continue to roll down. And also, like, that's going to help you. It's setting you up to continue this forward momentum so that next year you can be sitting on a call like this and going, I'm going to be Emerald this month. Like, that is amazing. And so it might feel a little more, like, push this this month and that's okay it is okay like school is still in unless you're homeschooling but school is still in for for kids to be at school it's okay it's the end of convention contest so sometimes plexus will like offer that extra like kick at the end like okay for every new join instead of it being the 20 convention points it's 40 like they do stuff like that at the end so you are going to push through the finish line i don't know if anyone on here is a runner i was a runner we learned to run through the finish line. You did not stop until you were all the way over the finish line. You were like picking up speed until you crossed completely over and then you stopped. You didn't just like get to the finish line and then stop. Like you ran all the way through it. And so that's what I want to be in your mind this whole month is like I am running all the way through that finish line and it's going to happen. And so the amazing thing about the way that we help each other is that I help my downline, I help my upline, and all together we move forward as this one unit, this amazing like forward momentum train that just is not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop for that brick wall. It's gonna bust right through it. So every no, no, it's a brick wall, go through it, it's okay. It just means that that's not the right time for them and that the next time it will be, the next time the train comes around that track, it will be and they'll jump on too and that's <laughs> So roll with it both ways. We're going to support up, we're going to support down, and together we move forward. Um, it's just huge. Like, this is so, so huge and exciting. Like, I just want to call everyone, and I have all these new joins, and I want to be like, use your codes. Like, let's get you started, you know? But you got to, like, take it back a minute, you know? <laughs> you don't want to scare anybody off. So just really being tactful with how you're doing things um, and just – realizing that success breeds success. So helping that one person be successful in their products is going to help the next person be successful in their products. And helping your, um, your team be successful in the business and sharing is going to help them help their next person be successful. So it's amazing that we can come together and use what each other has learned. Um, I think I've mentioned this on calls before, where Fallon had to do a lot of learning on her own. Like she really read a ton of books. She didn't have a pink power with billions of training videos and tons of research articles posted where you can just go and search, you know, uh, methylated folate in a group and get 10 articles. No, she was doing all of that research. So we have amazing resources at our fingertips. So use them. And like I said, just this month, like get your family on board because what does that mean? Like it means you're going to sit on the beach in Hawaii with your husband next year or this year. And you're not going to watch Seventh Heaven now. You're going to wait. Like, hey, you know, it's okay to wait for a year because you can be on the beach with your family. So think about what that why is. Think about why this is so important. Think about, you know, I'm a PT. There are changes in our health insurance all the time. And right now there's a big push in how they're reimbursing in outpatient settings, in home care, in the hospitals. And it's going to trickle down to us. So you know, people think, oh, this crazy opportunity, blah, 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 Plexus. Guess what? Plexus is debt free. Guess what? Plexus is running on the top of the line research and they're rolling out new products. They are competitive and they are attracting, in the industry, they're attracting other companies, people. They're attracting, Christopher Pear came out of retirement. He helped build, um, oh, somebody help me. Herbalife. Herbalife, thank you. I'm like, Nutra, no, that's not right. Herbalife, he came out of retirement to join Plexus and team up with this Feeding America. Like, hello, it is just so huge. So when, when Alec and Taro say, if you're blessed, be a blessing, they are, actually, they are practicing what they preach. They are absolutely doing that. So keep those things in mind. 
jump on with us. Let's go. Let's run through the finish line and don't stop. So it's worth it. It's so worth it, you guys. Um, so watch some Diamond Docs if you need to be inspired. Talk to your upline. Get on the phone with me. I'd love it. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, anything else, Jackie or Lauren? Or I have like a two second question so you have time to jump over to the other call. Um, one thing I want to say is some of the new people don't get how excited we are about this because they haven't been in this as long. They've, you know, you've, if you've just started your products, you're just starting to see some changes or you might be going through some detox where you need a lot more support. But we've been through that and we've gotten through um, and seen a lot of positive changes in our health as well. And then the financial blessings as well. So we're super excited because we're on the other side of that. Whereas some of the people who are just starting off, they don't understand our excitement. So um, you might think we're a little crazy, but it's because we've had so many good things happen to us because of this. And we want to share that because we want those things for you too. So um, when you see that we're going crazy excited about it, it's not just the trips. It's not just that stuff. It's because we feel better and we're so excited to help others feel better and have the same kind of blessings that we've had. So um, bear with us because you will get there too. And that's the other thing is work with us because um, we'll help you get um, from the, okay, I'm just starting this and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but you said it's good. So I'm going to do it to, oh my gosh, I'm so successful with this and I'm so glad I did it. So um, hang with us and we'll help you get there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because if you're in that position, okay, I'm really done. Like I just said, that's where I was this time last year. So you never know what could happen within a year. Just trust us, run with us, and link arms with us, and we're going to go all the way through that finish line, like Elizabeth said. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's so true about convention. So true. Like, I wasn't even working the business yet when I saw the stuff for conventions start to pop up the very first year, I was just happy using my products. I was teaching, I was working, I have these kids. Like, I'm like, no, I don't wanna do that yet. Let me get through this semester. And then I was like, well, maybe I should go to convention. Like, I just, this thought popped up, you know? And I wasn't even sharing the business at all. Like, and I was like, well, you know, I kind of started looking into it and then I just got a little overwhelmed and I'm like, ah, forget it. It's not a big deal. And then these pictures of convention were popping up and I am like, oh, why didn't I go? Like total FOMO, you know, and it's hard for us to even explain to you the amazingness of convention. You know, my mom is just like dabbling in the business side, you know, trying to help her friends. Like she really is just like, I just want to help people. I just want to help people. You know, she isn't like, I want to go to Hawaii, you know? And uh, so she went to convention last year with me and she loved it. She just found it incredible in a, such a supportive um, arena, just a supportive environment and just learned so much that she's going back this year too. So it's really cool. But, yay. All right, get your questions into your three-way chats. Like this is the month to be asking questions, calling your upline on the phone, like whatever it is, like don't be afraid to ask. Just ask constantly, like we will get back to you. It might not be like right that second, but it will happen. So lots of communication and lots of just pushing forward. All right, you guys, it's gonna be awesome. Bye. Bye.